Well, anyway, here's the update on the uh, tournament. So tonight we have King of the Ring quarterfinals, Ilya Dragunov and Jey Uso, uh, the uh, Gunther match with Kofi Kingston, as we'll get to, Lyra versus Zoe Stark, and Io Sky versus Shayna Baszler. So what happened over the weekend is, first off, Zelina Vega is injured. She's out of the tournament. Adam Pierce noted she was not medically cleared to compete against Shayna Baszler at the WWE house show in Macon, Georgia. And so you'll never guess who replaced Zelina Vega in this prestigious Queen of the Ring tournament. Well, none other than Maxine Dupree. Because why not? There were no well, other women on Earth available. Well, so they put in Maxine, who I think was one one match in her entire life. So uh, she lost, obviously, to Shayna Baszler. And then Kofi Kingston actually beat Rey Mysterio. Which kind of makes me sad, because I'm sure that Gunther and uh, Kofi is going to be great, but, man, Gunther and Rey Mysterio? That sounds like a dream match to me. So now... We also had the Chattanooga house show where L.A. Knight beat Santos Escobar to move on and Tiffany Stratton defeated Meachin to move to move on. So, you know, we've got these these brackets. And if you ask me. Anybody ask? Anybody care? If you ask me, I believe that the women's queen of the ring is going to be Jade Cargill. And the men's King of the Ring is going to be Jay Uso. That is my prediction for this uh, tournament. Hmm. Any any thoughts? How do you get Gunther out of there? Because I'm beat all him. for... Well, I know that. But I'm all for Jay Uso, actually. And it, you know, again, if they can try to get back a little of the magic they had a while ago with him... It's going to be a good thing, but how does how does he defeat Gunther? That's very interesting because I want to be very protective of him. He's one of the only people, even Carmelo Hayes, he's one of the only people in either one of these things that I would look at and go, I don't know if I want to beat him. So how do you go ahead and go about doing that with Jey Uso? Well, if you ask me, he just beats Gunther. I am asking you this time. He just, How would you do it, Brian? He just beats the guy. Because, honestly, at the end of the day... With his move? Gunther, Gunther... Here's the thing. Gunther was champion for 666 days. Mm-hmm. He set the record. Yeah. He's he's a made man. Yeah. Unless the plan is in July or August, it's going to be Gunther versus Cody for the title. I think that Gunther can put this guy over. In the uh, it'd be the semifinals because two things. Number one, you know that uh, that whole deal where Cody and Roman went to WrestleMania and then Roman beat him. One of the reasons that all happened was they figured this thing's hot. We can drag it out another year. Which actually, at the end of the day, they made the right call. Absolutely. But the other deal was well, you know, we can we can get some other people over in this thing, including Jey Uso. And Jey Uso has gotten over, I mean, he's gotten over bigger than he ever was before, that's true. But did he ever get to that next, that real next level? No, because every time there's a big thing, you know, he loses. That's it. And on Monday, last Monday, when they did that uh, Raw show, and I had people that were at the show, and they told me that Jey Uso was the most over guy on the show. He was the most over babyface on the show. And the crowd was going nuts, yeats, the whole nine yards. And, you know, it's time to uh, to give it a go. And so I can see him beating Elia, and I can see him beating Gunther. And then, you know, it's going to come down to, uh, if you look at the other side of the bracket, I mean, however they do it, you could do Jey Uso versus Tamatanga. Absolutely. And uh, Jey Uso beats Tamatanga and becomes the king of the ring. That's, That's the only absolutely way- what I would do in this tournament. Only way to do it, unless you have something in your pocket for Carmelo Hayes when they get back from Saudi Arabia that you want to all of a sudden kick off, there's no reason for him to go to the finals here, especially you can have him lose in a nefarious way to Tamatanga. This, to me, is the only thing that makes a whole lot of sense, because if it's not Jey Uso, 
what is going to be, you know, the last match? Because then it's like, well, does is it Gunther and LA Knight? Is it Gunther and Carmelo Hayes? You know, to me, this is this is Jay Uso's tournament to lose, the way things are set up and the way they've positioned him as well, too, because you're right. The, the, to me, the lead up to WrestleMania really did hurt. And it was an example of you were so worried about Rock and Cody and some other things that were going on that you didn't announce matches until late. You didn't take care of the undercard. And they are prone to do that oftentimes in the lead up to a WrestleMania. It's like our big stuff is big and the rest of the stuff is filler. But Jay and Jimmy should not have been as much filler as they were because Jay has slipped a little bit since then. And I hope he gets it back. So on the women's side, I mean, the first first side of the bracket has Shayna, Io, Lyra, and Zoe. I don't see any of them winning. So you've got the other side of the bracket, which has Nia, Jade, Tiffany, and Bianca. And I think that uh, Jade obviously beats Nia. And long-term... Nia do another Super Rana? Long-term... They are going to be doing Jade and Bianca, but I don't think I don't think they're doing it here. So I think Tiffany is going to beat Bianca, and then Jade beats Tiffany. So Jade, who is one half of the tag team champions with Bianca, wins the Queen of the Ring, beating whoever's on the other side. Bianca's angry because she got knocked out of the tournament early. Her tag partner is the Queen. They've already been teasing that Bianca's going to make a turn. And so uh, I don't know if they're going to do that at SummerSlam. I think that's more of a WrestleMania match. I but got another way to play this. But I think that uh, that's the way they're going here. I don't know. I know we're pushing up on time here, but hey, Jade Cargill losing to Tiffany Stratton because Nia Jax does something, comes back, trips her up or something like that because, I mean, Jade Cargill is not going to have that many singles matches, and if you want to kick Tiffany Stratton off, I could see something like that happening with her then getting a victory over Bianca. So coming out of this, you have Jade against Tiffany, you have Bianca against Tiffany, which was probably going to be the best match out of all of them, and you might be able to keep Nia Jax in that mix a little bit. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Hey, I got a lot of other news here. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I got lots of it here. <laughs> powerhouse, poor Powerhouse. Out of action. Says getting injured in that Moxley match. Patellar tendon injury. Patellar. Patella. It says Patella. But he got Patellar tendon repair. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, he says, not sure what to say. Injuries happen. We deal with them. We recalibrate. We rebuild. We reinvent. Real test is to come back. I've been told I'll come back. Like nothing ever happened. So that's at least good. Yeah, good. But he says, why do I feel so angry right now? Because it's all BS, he says. Nobody comes back the same after an injury. The only choice is to come back better. So he's going to heal and recover and return. And, uh... All the best to Powerhouse. Damn right. He's one of many guys that was extremely underutilized by AEW. He's awesome. He is, and hopefully when he comes back, he doesn't have that big albatross hanging around his neck there from Manitoba. Got to get rid of that guy. Career will be on the upswing. And we've got uh, Dana White saying he's open to UFC fighters crossing over to WWE. You don't say? <laughs> well. Derek Lewis by the way, if he wants to go to WWE, he should stop mooning people. I mean, are you sure? You, you can't do that on on WWE. Yeah, but he doesn't. He and he also, I think, took out his cup and threw it into the press area. <laughs> well, <laughs> surprised <laughs> Dave hasn't done that of late. WWE. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.